Hello, welcome to my video. Buying and used lands may be a bargain, but also can be a bad buy. That depends first, of course, on the price, and second, it, that depends on the condition of the lenses. Uh, to find out the condition of the lenses, it is necessary to perform some checks. And I have here uh, three types of lenses, and uh, that lenses have different problems. Uh, first, I have uh, an ordinary uh, autofocus zoom lens. Then there is a enlargement lens and an auxiliary lens. Um, the first part I want to show uh, some very simple tests and checks uh, everybody can do without any special tool except for a simple tool like a pocket lamp. Okay. Let's begin with the ordinary zoom lens. The first thing uh, we can do is shaking the lens so we can check for loosened screws. This is a very simple check. Then we can check for um, for damages on the body. We can remove all covers and we can check in a simple way with a pocket lamp for infestation of fungus or scratched surfaces. Yes. And behind. Okay, the mount seems well, everything in good condition. Okay, this lamp uh, seems to be in good, uh, good condition at the first sight. But it isn't. This lens has uh, a problem, and I would recommend to put it on a camera. But first, I rotate all rings the zoom ring, aperture ring, and here for, for bad noise. No, it's no problem. Okay, then I recommend to put it on a body. Okay, I try to focus. Okay. Let's put the lens on a body. Okay, that works. Switch on the camera and uh, I try to Okay, autofocus to check the autofocus. Oh, that sounds not very nice. Sounds like a cheap lens. It is a cheap lens. Okay, it's a cheap lens. The lens works. Of course, I can make some photos, but not in this video. Uh, okay, and what uh, still is important to check is uh, the closing of the aperture plates. Okay, let's try. This is this button. Oh, what happened here? Here is the problem. I try to show. Okay, this is the right. Okay, I, s I press the button. And leave it loose. Press a button, and here we can see the problem of this lens. The aperture blades closes very slow. Instead of fast closing, okay. Let's remove the lens again. That's a problem of the lens. I try to. Have a closer look to this lens. OK. 
Okay. Ah, this is the right, the right position for watching. Okay, this is the closing mechanism. Okay, you see, this is too slow. Maybe the aperture plates are oily. They are very slow. That's a damage of the lens. This damage results in overexposure because the uh, aperture can't close in time. That's a problem. The lens is difficult to repair. You have to open the complete lens and clean the aperture plates. That's not a simple uh, repair for uh, non-professionals. This lens is still uh, is less worth. I wouldn't buy such a lens. Okay, this was the first lens. I have another lens, maybe this uh, on silver lens in a box, it seems very good. Okay, okay. It seems there's no damage outside the body. It looks very fine, it looks in a very good condition. Uh, many buyers, I'm sure, many buyers would buy such a lens uh, without any doubt and they believe they make a bargain seems very well at the first sight and still if I have uh, if I use a pocket lamp there is there is light ah here seems to be the problem uh, maybe the surface okay there seems to be a scratched surface and the coating is damaged. Okay, let's have a closer look. This lens seems to be to have a problem uh, with the surface. And this is a good opportunity to check this with a microscope. Okay. Okay. Let's move and have a closer look on the lens surface. Let's zoom in. And at this magnification, we can uh, clearly see very strong scratches. This looks uh, like a very serious damage of the lens surface and the coatings and this damage may be caused by cleaning with a standard tissue uh, instead of the right lens cleaning paper very clear to see okay let's put back this auxiliary lens in its case and let's have a closer look to this enlargement lens this enlargement lens is a quality lens it also looks very fine and the first side is very good I can show the try to focus okay that's correct and the aperture aperture works very fine okay and the condition is also also very good no damage the outside the lenses looks clean at the first sight, of course, because this lens uh, still has a problem. And this problem isn't easy to find out without a microscope. 
and so I want to perform a check with the microscope. Okay, let's have a closer look. Okay, let's zoom in and change the focus level. Now here under this light conditions uh, and magnifications we can clearly see serious lens coating damages at the inner lenses. These damages have been caused by a former fungal mycelium. The fungus have been removed but the damage still is visible and can't be repaired. It's a permanent damage of the lens coating. Okay. Okay. I've changed to transmitted light now. And here we can see damages caused by spores. And of course also some dust is visible. But the main problem here is the spores damage. Another try to change the focus level shows. Um, now we can clearly see strong scratches uh, inside the lenses. And this is a very clear indication of unprofessional opening and cleaning of the lens. Okay, that's it. Let's zoom out again. Okay. The result of this lens check is an unprofessional cleaned lens from fungus in combination uh, with scratched lens surfaces and coatings. And this example shows how important uh, is a thoroughly lens check. Yes, this used lens isn't worth, worth much money. And the problem is many buyers wouldn't recognize this problem. It is very difficult to recognize uh, this problem uh, on the pictures. Okay. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this short uh, introduction in lens checking and I wish you a nice day and goodbye. Thank you for watching.